Bonsoir les amis, this is Leanne Stanfield and you can find me at parisianfrench.com uh, Do you know what is the ghost French word? Why am I calling it the ghost word? It's because it, um, how is it going? It's actually, there is a word in French that there's no word translated in English and that was um, I'm going to give you some examples uh, so that you can you can see what I'm talking about but uh, it is tricky right because when you translate from English to French which you will do because English is mother tongues for most of you then it's harder when you don't have a word to actually put a word in French we we have other situations but this particular situation uh, is a little trickier. So uh, you will have the transcript of the French version of this video of the part of the French part of this video in the Parisian French Conversationalist Facebook group and I'm going to give you the link under this video as soon as I finish it. So if I say how do I go about this? Maybe, yes, I'm going to give you the French first and uh, then I'm going to translate in English. You'll see there is no word translated in English. So, le livre de Jean, celui de Paul. Le livre de Jean, celui de Paul. So, we translate it as John's book, Paul's. So that's it. And so celui de Paul, it's like celui and de is not translated in English. Uh, in the feminine, la robe de Marie, celle de Louise. La robe de Marie, celle de Louise. Marie's dress, Louise's. Right? Marie's dress, Louise. So I'm going to uh, say again these uh, little snippets of sentences. There's no verb, but it, it is an elliptic sentence. <laughs> so, um, le livre de Jean, celui de Paul. La robe de Marie, celle de Louise. And of course, we can use ce. Uh, masculine and cell feminine plural in both situations um, in other contexts. So, les livres de Jean, ceux de Paul, les robes de Marie, celle de Louise with an S at the end. So, that's the little tip that I had for you for today. Do not forget to apply for the free scholarship. Uh, the free scholarship is for a, an eight week, week program. Uh, that gives you everything that you need in order to manage um, conversation in your next trip to Paris. And uh, the applications are accepted. The first thing you have to do is to go to parisianfrench.com, get on the newsletter to find out the news. And all the information and um, the instructions for what you have to do in order to qualify for the application. So don't ever give up on your dream to become bilingual. Learn to speak Parisian French and break the language barrier. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. Au revoir.